All right, bench testing on the ground. This golf cart, we got our battery hooked up here. And this is an older resistor based system. And when dealing with these, the wiring can be very, very confusing. So the first thing, sometimes you're missing wires and you can't figure out what was ripped out of it. The first thing you probably wanna do is forego trying to get reverse to work and just get one direction to work. If that confuses you, um, that adds a, a uh, pretty big level of confusion even for me still. Putting these motors in reverse is not as easy as just switching the polarity on them. So they always have these, these, uh, these reverse switches here and sometimes it's a solenoid based uh, reverse switch. So sometimes just forego that for now and let's just try to get it moving. So find the input. Here's the negative lead that goes on the battery and it runs over and it just hooks right into the motor. The positive we redirect through um, a lot of switches and resistance. So the positive side here goes into the solenoid and when we push the pedal, this solenoid is switched on by the switch down there. So there's a little switch that um, switches the power on to the solenoid. This, this gets power. It's a magnet base switch and it turns on the power, goes through. Then the power comes down to this brushed, um, this little brush thing here that contacts the different stages of resistance along this resistor here and then the output of the resistor follow where that is um, so the output no matter what stage you're going along find the output and it goes over to this one here which I think is S1 or A1 or something so then uh, that comes out to A to the other one S1 or A, A1 the other side um, and then follow that over and around and then back to here so this switch has two switch, two poles here and here, and there's, I pulled it apart and looked. These two are connected and these two are connected. So this then comes out of the motor, goes here, and then that goes back and around to the motor. Oh, I lost my wire. Back and around to the motor here. So what changes the speed on this is this thing here contacts at different stages of of this resistor coil and then it comes out when it comes out it has less resistance and then um, the voltage is increased and the motor can spin faster so that's uh, easy as I can explain it 